Hey what's up guys, this is 3D Bonfire back with an amazing tutorial. And this time I want to talk about these marble machines, okay? So I think for the last week I just dived into this topic and honestly I had so much fun. So this is just so super satisfying to just create these parkours from different elements, okay? So just take a curve and a ramp and a rail, connect them, let the marble run through and just feel good because it is so satisfying and amazing, okay? <laughs> So I just really had fun with it. That's what I want to say. And I hope you will have fun with this too, because it's just really cool. All right. So let's continue here with what I want to share with you on my Patreon. Okay. So I just uploaded this marble run base kit with 14 elements. And this is basically everything that you need for a really quick start into this topic. So I already set up the, the physics calculation for you and you just have to connect these ones to a marble run and have fun with it. All right. So you can see these elements, they come with a high resolution version all right so this is pretty high res that it is just looking super smooth even if you make some close-ups on it okay of course this is also a beautiful material but you can see this also looks pretty nice when you go close to it and the bevels the edges they just look amazing all right but anyway i also want to tell you that there is a low resolution version so this one is linked to its parent object and this one has the physics calculation tag on it to calculate your rigid body animation just super fast because you don't need the high resolution model there to calculate your physics it's just faster with these low resolution elements i could have really put this one into a shorter sentence i'm sorry anyway of course for you guys on youtube i also want to give you some benefit from this video so we will also here on youtube just model some of these simple elements but just be sure that on patreon i will share lots of this cool stuff and also go into depth how to build more complex models maybe for example like this one okay so they just look amazing and i think at some point you just don't want to have base models but you will really want to go crazy with it and uh just put some more love into it. Let's go to Cinema 4D and oh, there's another video. So of course you want to see it animated, okay? And you can see even in animation, this stuff looks just amazing, okay? So man, it's so much fun. I just directly after this tutorial, I will create another marble run, I promise you. Let's close this one. I think I said already too often that it is fun. So and this is the file that I share on Patreon, these 14 elements. Let's just press NA to get rid of the lines. It's really simple. It's just a start. I will also share two test files with you. For example, this example marble run one, and it's already cached. Okay. But anyway, without a cache, it would be also so fast because it just calculates really, really fast. All right. And you can see the marble is running through its parkour. And basically I just took the single elements and connected them with each other. All right. So just imagine with a beautiful lighting here and good material. And this will look just awesome. Okay. There is another example, this one. This one will also be shared, of course. So you get these two scene files and you can see you can do the same thing also with multiple marbles here at once. Okay. So this is super fast and they go through its parkour. I mean, I know you have no time. Your time is precious. So let's just go fast through it. All right. So amazing stuff here. But I would say for you guys on YouTube to also give you now a benefit of this video, let's just build a simple rail and maybe a curve. And then from there you can build your own models. And as I said on Patreon, I will go way more into depth on how to build more complex elements, maybe like this or the ones I already showed you. Okay, so let's just start with a new file, I would say. And we want to build this scene in the next like 10 minutes or something. We want to build this whole setup and set up the camera and everything, the materials, the lighting to make something really awesome, okay? Okay, sorry, this was really a bad joke. For now, we need to start somewhere. And I think the first step would be to just create our basic rail where everything is relying on. So this will be the simplest element in the whole scene, but everything will be built upon it. Okay, so basically we just need a simple rail where we can start, okay? So I just create a sphere and this will be our marble. I just call it marble to feel a bit better, all right? And now we want to create a rectangle and um, should I make it editable already? I'm not sure. No, you know what? I'll just go here and uh, change it a little bit. 
And let's just see. I just want to visually put it into place where I think this could be a good measurement for our rail, which will be extruded then from this profile. So I think this is too wide. I want to go for something like this one. Okay. And while I'm doing this, I just want to say, hey, it would be really awesome if you follow my YouTube channel. If you like the content, ring the bell, subscribe, whatever you have to do here to get my cool stuff. Okay. So you can see now I have a rectangle and a rail and I want to subtract the surface out of the profile from the rectangle to get a more complex shape where this marble can roll along okay so therefore I would say we just grab a spline wrap it's not a spline wrap it's a spline mask I'm sorry put it into it and set this one to subtract and I always select the wrong subtract so let's go to B minus A and there you go so this will be a nice profile maybe should we make it a bit bigger not sure give it a little bit more room to play so maybe we put this one to 60 that's also a good measurement and the next step would be to just put this one into an extrude all right let's say this one will be like a thousand so this could be our base rail element but there is just one thing this looks ugly in rendering so we need to find a way to treat these edges to make that look better okay and therefore i think the most easiest way would be to go to this profile and already put the bevel into it okay so therefore let me just create a backup here call this one backup i will make it invisible and let's go to this one and now we can make the spline mask editable so hold on c to make it editable and okay this is interesting i don't like the shape here so let me just strg z go back here let's go to the circle and i think do we need to give it more segments here to make it more round i'm not sure i will just move it a little bit up okay and let's make this one editable once again okay and now we just have one point here i think this will just look better okay what do we want to do here we want to bevel some edges all right or chamfer it however you want to call it so basically all of these ones should be a little bit round so i select all of them right click and go to chamfer and i chamfer it by clicking and dragging and basically all of these ones they are okay but something strange is happening here okay so let's just put on sdrgz one more time and i think we need to make some supporting cuts here okay so press f4 to go to the front view kk for the knife and i just click here hold down shift and make a cut i just release it just click escape and you get some new points here okay so now i think when i just select these points let's just do it once more let's chamfer it all right so this is looking better okay i will just decide on a radius here and i think something around three looks good okay so i think this is a good edge treatment i just click here and now when i just put this one into the extrude you can see we get this beautiful light interaction here on the edges and this just looks way better okay nice now the only thing that is bothering me is the hard edge here so i think we can just go into the extrude go to caps and go to the size of the rounding here and do something like two let's just see okay this is looking good and let me just see the lines and b i just want to be sure that this one is not going too far for example with four then you get this ugly edge treatment here so just be sure that you don't push this one too far you can see when i put this one to three then you already get this ugliness here all right so let's just put it to 2.5 maybe okay and a to get out of it and basically this would be a beautiful high-res rail let's just nb click it once again and well you can see we have a lot of segments here so maybe we can we can make this a little bit better let's just see so let's see what happens when i put this one to something like 20 or let's see adaptive okay adaptive is better because we really don't need to have so much segments here i guess and maybe i even set this one to subdivided this is better now this is really dense so let's just see can we put this one to 10 all right or put it to 20 i think this is also good enough okay we don't need to have so many cuts there so this one feels already better for me and then i just go to the extrude go to the object and also give it some segments there all right something like this maybe put this one to 80 all right and now this has a good subdivision na to check it once more if everything is smooth here 
All right, so I think everything is working in a great way with this rail. Okay, so this could be our high res rail, but for the calculation, we also want to do a low res rail. Okay, so maybe I would just make this one invisible, duplicate the backup, make it visible again. And the low res version doesn't need to have this bevels, for example. We can go inside of this one and press C again. This is already fine. I think we can decrease this one to five. Okay, now put it to seven. All right, this is good. I mean, do we even need subdivisions here? I think we can also put this one to, sorry, to adaptive. All right, I think this is good. Put this one to eight, put it to 10 maybe, or let's see, 15. I think this is also good enough. And just to be on the safe side, I would just give it some subdivisions here. This will be a low resolution version of the rail. Okay, so I press just C to make this one editable. This is the low resolution version. And on top of it, we have the high resolution version. Press C to make it editable. I call this one high. I get rid of all of these ones. And you can see they are perfectly aligned to each other. I would just create two materials to just see this one better. So the high resolution will get this color the low resolution will get this color and you can see this one is the low res and this one is the high res perfect i think we should just test this one so the low res will get the tag so let's go to simulation tag and put a collider tag on it and put the low resolution version into the high res okay and let's just see where our axis is. Okay, this is good. But if you want to center it, you could also go to axis center, execute it and do it like this. But I think since we always want to connect them from the start, so we want to align it like this, you know, it just makes sense to have the axis here. Okay, perfect. So now we can move the high res and the low res as one set here. Let's just rotate it a little bit. Okay, this is good. Now the marble, I will just move it up, right click on it, go to the simulation text and this one will be a rigid body. And let's just test it. And you can see the magic is already happening. So this was pretty simple, right? We have a basic rail and I guess, let me just think about it. Should we build another element? Oh, you know what? I think I want to keep this tutorial really short. I don't want to uh, waste your time, bore you here on YouTube. If you want to learn more about the modeling, there will be lessons on my Patreon on how to build more complex shapes like this one with the hole or these rotation elements, these upward spirals, or even if you want to build really complex shapes like this one, where you have like some edge treatment to make it really unique, something really special. So this is just giving these elements its own used character and I can also show you how you can do that okay but for now let's keep this really short let's switch off the computer enjoy the beautiful sun and uh, just have a nice day I wish you the best see you next time bye guys